All right. For this mission, I tried to focus on short range and mid range weaponry as well as speed. Um, typically, escort missions, the enemies spawn in as it progresses, but in this one, if you know the placement of all the enemies, you can actually sweep through the entire area and wipe out all the enemies on the map uh, before they can even damage the helicopter. So that's the trick to it. And after you take out that initial barrage, you can head over to this area over here and take out this quadruped. And destroying it will give you some extra money, and extra money in this mission means extra time. So typically it's a good idea to try and get these extra little side mini bosses. Uh, but you do that quick enough and then you come back and you get rid of these guys. So as the mission progresses, you'll see me going through and you can keep track of where all the enemies are. And try your best to get to them before they start attacking the helicopter. Typically, I think you want to keep the helicopter's health above 80% damage. And in general, a lot of these enemies don't have that much health. So if you have medium range or long range if you prefer, you can just take them out uh, pretty quickly. And the further away you can take them out, the quicker you can get through sweeping the entire area. But whatever weapons you do choose, make sure they're good enough for the final boss of the area. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Some enemies to keep in mind is that there are some drones hiding out uh, behind here. Shoot them uh, before they even get off the ground because if you don't, uh, they'll be shooting lasers from a very long range and they can just destroy your helicopter. Over here I kind of messed up and got here too slowly and they started attacking. Hence why you want to make sure that your AC has a strong focus and speed. Next you can head over to these turrets and if you're struggling to figure out where the enemies are you see that radar at the very bottom you can see little red dots pop up it'll show you which direction you need to go for the enemy. Pretty handy. After this there's going to be a hidden dropship. And then a bunch of missile launchers that you want to make sure you take care of because they also can hit the helicopter from very far away. And those little biped MPs even though they seem small, make sure you take them out because even a small enemy will start annihilating the helicopter's health. So these last three are the last ones and after that you pretty much cleared out the entire map. So you can kind of just chill for a bit. Unfortunately it takes a while. And the next part of the mission is the hardest part of the mission. So. For this part, see when these guys drop down, you can do an assault armor explosion, get rid of all those little MTs, and then focus your energy on the final boss here. You can also use the the shield, the assault shield, I think, I forget what it's called, but you can use it and put a shield around the entire helicopter and protect it. I chose the assault armor because it gets rid of those little guys and you can just focus all your energy on the boss. After that, there should be some little ones that still pop up every now and then. Just make sure you take care of all of them. Leave them alive and they'll keep shooting your helicopter, which you don't want. A little cheeky shot here. You probably shouldn't do this because that's a waste of ammo and 
takes away from your final score, but you know what? I was feeling extra saucy. Confirmed. The chopper has exited the combat. But yeah, that's about it. Good luck. Hopefully this helps.